Let's do the coordinate system. In this lesson, you learn to graph points in all quadrants of the coordinate plane. Let's take a look at this example. Our nation's capital has a unique system for naming its streets. The capital is at the center, right there. Streets that lie east and west of the capital are named numerically. First, second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. So there you go, first, second, third. Fourth will be here, somewhere here. And then first, second, third, okay, and so on and so forth. Uh, streets that lie north and south of the capital are named alphabetically A, B, C, D, all the way to W, skipping the letter J. This means that there are two sets, each of the numerical and alphabetical street names. Each location in the map could be indicated by a pair of numbers and letters, such as 3D, in parentheses. This would represent the intersection of 3rd and D streets. However, there are four places where the third and D streets meet, and you can see two of them in this uh, on this map that we have: third and D street right here, and another one right there. Okay, the problem is resolved by separating Washington into four different sections. Sections are northeast, okay, southeast right here, uh, southwest, and northwest. So let's say if I'm going to uh, say uh, 3D or 3rd and uh, D Street, okay, uh, southeast of the capital, I would mean this particular intersection. If I would say 3D, uh, southwest of the capital, I would uh, uh, look at this particular intersection right here, okay? And that's how you figure out what the 3rd and D Street uh, would mean depending on what location or what section it's located in okay in the same manner in math uh, we could be uh, it could be represented by what we call a coordinate system remember that the coordinate system is formed by the intersection of two number line called axes okay axes separate the coordinate plane into four regions called quadrants Okay, like the four sections of Washington, D.C. Okay, so in our uh, coordinate system, just like Washington, okay, we separate our coordinate system into quadrants. And this is, uh, these are the four quadrants. The number line that goes up and down or vertical, okay, then the vertical number line is called the y-axis. The horizontal number line of our coordinate system is called the x-axis, okay? And if you also notice, okay, axis is plural of axis. And this is our quadrant 1 right there. This is quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4, okay? What do you also notice on the left side of the x-axis? the left side of zero and uh, all the numbers below zero in the y-axis okay the numbers to the left of zero on the x-axis are negative as are the numbers below zero on the y-axis so all these numbers will be negative all these numbers too will be negative on our coordinate system okay and if we Take a look at an example. The x coordinate of the ordered pair negative 2, 4, okay, is negative 2, and the y coordinate is 4, okay, where negative 2, 4 is called an ordered pair. Why is it called an ordered pair? Because, like what the term, uh, term mean, okay, it is in order. It's always negative 2, 4, meaning that the first number will always be the x-coordinate, and the second number will always be the y-coordinate. They will always be in order, x and y, respectively. Okay? And let's say we want to uh, find the dot, this one right here. Uh, okay, this is point A. The dot at negative 2, 4 is the graph of point A. If you notice, okay, 
negative 2. We first read the x-coordinate. We start from our origin. First read our coordinate. Oh, by the way, this is the origin right here. Okay. So the origin is at 0, 0. So by reading the x-coordinate first from the origin, negative 2, and then going up to point A, that would be 4 units up from negative 2, and that's how you read uh, point A. Okay? The origin and the two axes do not lie in any quadrant. Okay? So if you have a point that lie on the x-axis and the y-axis, okay, it means that they do not belong to any quadrant. Okay? Let's say, for example, I ask you, does negative or negative 5, 0 belong to quadrant 2 or quadrant 3? The answer would be neither because negative 5, 0 does not lie on any quadrant because it lies on the x-axis. Okay? Moving on, write the ordered pair for NASA. Okay, in this particular example, you are given a coordinate system, okay, and analyzing the problem, the x coordinate, okay, is negative six, and the y coordinate is negative four, right here, negative six, and negative four, negative, sorry, negative three, therefore the ordered pair is negative six and negative three, okay, what is located at two, three? Okay, if we will find 2, 3, this is 2, that's 3 right there, 2, 3, and that's going to be the Senate offices. So, count 2 units to the right and 3 units up, the point of the Senate offices is 2, 3. When you say, when, when the, it tells you to count 2 units to the right, it says 2 units to the right of the origin, or 0, then 3 units up afterwards. Okay, what is located on the origin? Okay. The capital is located at the origin. Okay. Remember that to graph a point means to place a dot at the point named by the ordered pair. This is sometimes called plotting the point. Okay. Let's take a look at example number two and see how this works. Graph each point on the coordinate plane and name the quadrant in, we, in which each point lies. Okay, 3, negative 4, again, we start at the origin, okay, and then move 3 units to the right, so 1, 2, 3 units to the right, then move 4 units down and draw a dot, 4 units down, 2, 3, 4, draw a dot, okay, Point D is located in quadrant 4 because this is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. So this, is now become, this now becomes point D and it's located in quadrant 4. Okay? Let's take a look at letter B. Okay? Negative 3, 2. Start at the origin again. Okay? And then move three units to the left because it's negative three. One, two, three units to the left. Then two units up because it's two. One, two. Draw a dot and place the letter E. Okay. Label it uh, uh, negative E, negative three, two. Point E is located in quadrant two. Okay. Just label it negative 3, 2. So let's label the dot negative 3, 2. And let's label the first one 3, negative 4. Okay? And uh, letter C, finally. Okay? We have 4, 0. Start at the origin and move 4 units to the right. Okay? So let's start at the origin, move 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right. Okay. The graph is on the x-axis. Label the dot 4, 0. Because 
your y is 0. f lies on the x-axis, so therefore it does not belong to any quadrant. And uh, we label it as 4, 0. Okay? And that's our lesson. On Google Forms, type a summary of what you've learned by responding to the objective of the lesson and type a question you might want to ask about in class. Thank you.